Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Zeke, the Crypto Miner, and today I'm going to bring you the top three swing trade ideas for July 1st, the first week of July. So stay tuned and check this video out. Okay, YouTube, you're back. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button because we're about to get straight into it, all right? So these are my top three swing trade ideas for the first week of July. Um, the first one I was looking at was PayPal, so that's PYPL. PYPL. Okay, let's make this a little bigger and go right there, all right? So, um, PayPal has been on a uptrend lately. You see the green line? The green line represents the 180 day simple moving average and it's pointing up. Whenever the arrow is pointing up, if you just put an arrow at the end of the green line, uh, it shows where the direction of the, the, the company is going. So right now, uh, PayPal is in an uptrend, all right? So if we look at PayPal, and we zoom in on the last couple of days, the last couple of weeks. PayPal has been staying true to the 180 day simple moving average. It bounced off of it a couple of times. It dipped below, but support brought it right back up. It had a high of $119.95. So let's draw a resistance right there. Bam. And if we're looking at the MACD, the MACD is just about to cross over. Let's zoom in a little bit. So right now, PayPal is not overbought, it's not oversold, it's somewhere right in the middle. So you're getting it for a good price for speculation. And right when the MACD cross and these red lines start to turn to green lines, that would be that it shows that it's going to be a good buy. So when Monday comes, you guys can start putting in your orders once all your confirmations hit. So we want the MACD to cross and we want the, the green bar to start showing up and make sure that it's not in the overbought area. So if we buy it on Monday, we have a potential until this next resistance line to gain 4.2% until it reaches this last all-time high of uh, $119.95. So getting in on PayPal at $114.70, I will go ahead and wait until the MACD cross and for the confirmation could be confirmed and then you guys could go ahead and buy paypal for a swing trade for a profit of four percent now i will set my stop loss somewhere right below the 180 day simple moving average just because it's been showing the green line has been showing so much support for this for, for paypal i would draw right below the green line so if you guys buy your uh, margin of loss should be 2.8% and your margin of profit should be over 4%. So you always want your margin of profit to out to outweigh your margin of loss. So uh, this will be a good time to get in on PayPal, all right? So another good swing trade I did that I've been looking at is Shopify, S-H-O-P. All right, so I already drew up some lines for Shopify. Um, so I drew a you know what let's zoom in a little bit so shopify is also on the uptrend 180 day simple moving average it's the green line put an arrow on the end of it right there and it's moving up it's on the uptrend guys all right so let's zoom in a little bit on shopify all right so i drew some supports and resistance i drew a line right here the last time it broke up above these uh, resistance and then it came back and it did not break the resistance. So this red line right here is now the new support. Okay, so prices do not want to fall below that new support. So then it shot back up and it, it, it got rejected right there at the next resistance line. Tried again, tried again, kept getting rejected at that uh, resistance line. And then it finally broke through that resistance line, right? So it went for another uptrend. And then it got rejected at the next resistance line and kept uh, consolidating. Consolidating means when the uh, the stock price really doesn't change much, it goes sideways. So it consolidated and then bam, it broke right through the last resistance line and got rejected again at the next resistance line of the all-time high of $338.94, all right? So then we came back and then it did not uh, follow the last uh, resistance line. It did not support it, it actually broke down below. And then the last support, this right here, is now the new support, okay? So it came back down and it bounced off the new support. So if we zoom all the way in, 
Okay, it was, it would have been a good time to get in a couple weeks ago. I mean, a couple days ago. So it was oversold. So it had been a good, I mean, people were uh, actually selling the stock for more than, for less than what the company was worth. All right, so RSI, too many was too many people were selling the stock off and it would have been a great time to get in right here. But if we wanted for all our confirmations to confirm, you want the MACD to cross over. So right here, the MACD did not cross and the MACD is just now starting to cross over. So if you guys were to get in, the MACD just crossed. If it stays true on Monday, you guys could get in and buy it somewhere around here, $300. And then all the way up to this last resistance right here, and that's a profit of 5.44%. And if it goes back down to this last support, uh, that'll be five. But if you goes, if it breaks through the last uh, resistance and goes up to the next resistance level, we'll take profit two. That is a profit gain of 12.9%. Okay, guys. Um, give me one second. Let me check on the. All right, so your uh, margin of profit is 12% and your margin of uh, loss is 5%. Remember, you always want your margin of profit to outweigh your margin of loss, all right? And the next one that we're going to look at is Macy's. Bam, all right, so Macy has been on the downtrend, but uh, its earning call did come out a couple of days ago and they paid out their dividends. So let's zoom in on Macy's and why I think it's going to be a good swing trade up. All right, so Macy's has been trying to break its resistance. The simple moving average, the 180-day simple moving average, has been a resistance for Macy's to stay true to that. It tried to, let's zoom in a little bit more, it tried to break through the resistance of the 180-day simple moving average once, twice, three times, and it just hasn't broke through. And it shows true down here, and the MACD is always been in the red. All right, so only if the MACD cross and it's not overbought. I mean, the RSI is somewhere in the middle between 60 and 40 and not above 70. And it crosses the simple moving average. Okay, it's going to cross and, and close above the simple moving average. The four hour chart closed above the simple moving average. And then MACD cross and the, and the RSI is not overbought. Then our next resistance level will be somewhere around here. At this last time it got rejected and if we zoom in and we buy it after it closes above the simple moving average our, our margin of profit would be around 2.87 percent and we set our stop loss around 1.5 percent down here but we wanted to break above the simple moving average first all right guys so example of that i actually pulled up an example of a chart that looked just like this that was in the downtrend intc this is intel all right so intel was in the downtrend the hour was pointing down uh intel was way below the 180 day simple moving average and then if we zoom in a little bit it finally broke and closed above the 180 day simple moving average the MACD cross and the green bar started to show up and once it broke in closed above uh, Intel actually had a gain of uh, 2.89 percent over the course of 10 days after it broke above the simple moving average so I kind of suspect Macy's to do the same if it does break and close above the simple 180 day simple moving average Macy's might be an actual good swing trade for the week but the one that did show the most profitability was Shopify. Okay, guys, remember Shopify had that 12% profitability to the uh, 5% loss right there. 5% loss, 12, almost 13% gain. So Shopify might be the deal on the week. So what I want you guys to do is go down in the comment sections. If you're going to take any of these trades, let me know. Come back um, Friday. I'm going to have another video Friday. Come back Friday and drop down in this video if you guys actually took these trades and made profit off of these short weekly swing trades for the first week of July. I suspect a lot of price movement to start happening at the beginning of the month. See so, ya, yeah, guys. Um, other than that, I want you guys to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps this channel out a lot. Hit the uh, subscribe button and go down in the comment section and subscribe. Um, the platform that I am using is TD Ameritrade's platform. It's called Thinkorswim. 
and what they do charge a commission to trade that's why if you guys don't want any charges or commissions when you buy and sell stocks uh, I left a link down to Robinhood it's an app on your phone and a, a link in the website on computer that you guys can use it's called the Robinhood app and you could buy and sell and trade um, stocks on there for free no commissions charge I'm gonna leave a link that a link to that down in the descriptions but yeah man other than that this is your boy Zeke the crypto miner and I'm out <laughs>